Hey, what is up, guys? Kita Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave Nine video. All right, so I just want to talk a little bit about the arena currently. What is what is currently happening? Like, is the arena totally fixed right now, or has there been any huge or major changes that has you know happened to the game ever since? Now I know with the Alec and Celia uh, rebalancing, right? Lots of players were very upset uh, to rework like two of the like most underused units to make them extremely broken, extremely strong, and with the hopes of trying to make sure to ensure that the entire meta are uh, returned to the state where it's much more offensive based or offensive centered as opposed to defensive based. Now. During the Helga meta, all right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Helga first because I think the key main point of them fixing everything, uh, which is, in my opinion, I do think this is really really good for the game. All right, so right now I'm currently averaging around ruby two to ruby three if I try really hard, and that was my previous ranks before the Helga meta actually exists. So I feel like that's where it really lines up with where I'm supposed to be ranked upon as opposed to when Helga was around it's really inconsistent uh, you can just attack 10 battles and most of the time it's only like I will get like 5 wins and 5 losses right so having Helga nerf and Helga like now she's almost non-existent there are still some players that use her for sure uh, but for me I don't really use her anymore at least not in my PvP team she still excels in certain places like in PvE and stuff but I strongly believe um, right now Arena is fixed like that's all I can say I feel confident attacking again I feel confident wasting my swords like before this during Helga meta right so every time when you attack if Helga somehow is in the range buff prohibition happens everything just gets screwed because a lot of units are unusable like let's face it units like um, Ventana is not being used much at all because uh, Helga like literally just destroys Ventana, right? Uh, she's really really hard to use. Once she gets buff prohibited, that means that she will die to every single thing uh, because Refugia is still out there, right? Not counting like Belia skeletons or anything like that. And yeah, so with Helga being removed, that means you're gonna get much more units, uh, much more usable units. Velter is stronger than usual. Now before this, definitely Velter is really really weak sometimes. If Helga can cast, can uh, perform the buff prohibition, Velter's HP will not increase. You can still get the rege regeneration from time to time, but your HP will not increase as quickly, right? So that means that Velter right now is like definitely in most cases, in most teams that I've seen, he is definitely way stronger now than before. Helga was dominant, right? So right now, I would say Velter is like one of the best and safer investments that you can go for. Of course, uh, it's not going to be for long. Uh, eventually, there's going to be a counter ETC. But for now, if you're looking to invest, I would say Velter is a decent one. Same goes for Ilenia, alright? So I really like Ilenia, like love her concept. A 3 multi-hit, damage distortion, Bane, man. Bane is just insanely broken all right so obviously if you can afford to build a bin right now go for it all right so i'm still considering about it myself uh definitely i'm looking into it i definitely can't afford to plus 15 a bin but yeah if i even if you can plus 12 like he's just really really strong really solid and you can see vetana dying right there speaking of which uh i feel like celia is supposed to replace or put back the role of Helga previously, all right? So Helga, in a way, she buff prohibits multiple units. And it's good, you know? But it also made PvP super inconsistent. I think the, the key word here is inconsistent because ideally when you attack, you set up a battle formation. Uh, if you're not going to be able to win, there's no point in attacking at all. So that's what happens previously with Helga around. Most players are just like holding on to their swords and I'm sure the developers know. They knew, they have the data, they knew no players are attacking, so that's why they decided to make the changes. Alright, so regarding Alec and Celia, 
after you know playing through a couple of weeks of arena right so i think i finally has i finally have some sort of conclusion to come into this i feel like now the reason why i don't see much ally is because i know most players can't afford to plus 15 him uh, i've seen a couple of plus 12 alex all right plus 12 alex he really needs hefasia or veronia i would say veronia is the way to go either you go for veronia and yeah that's the only that's the only choice hefasia's buff is not really enough and you can see there are quite a number of orphanas as well which is really interesting really interesting to see a bunch of orphanas and i would say that uh ventana is like one of the few better units to actually own right now to counter bane because uh let's be honest seto is still dominant all right you have seto and you have all the units revolve around seto and i would say iliana counter seto bane counter seto so that too would be probably quite safe now if you are wondering why am i not using sio ah because I still think that Asmode is better than Velfern, at least for me, at least for me. All right, so I know it can be a bit confusing. If I use Siola, I have to use four Magicians, right? I'm not just going to use Siola just for the defensive buffs. I want the offensive buffs. That, like that's what makes Siola extremely broken, the offensive buffs. All right, if you can't get the offensive buffs, you can only use defensive buffs, all right, which is the 40% defense and some regeneration, which is still fine in theory, right? But you're not getting the most out of her. So in my opinion, if I if I want to use her in my team, I feel like I really need to benefit from that four mages as well. If there are any players out there who build your arches for the two defensive buffs, hey, it's your choice. If it works for you, that's fine. But then you'll have to use Rafitia or someone else to back up for the offensive buffs. Uh, is it worth it? That depends. Like what are the trade-offs? You perhaps could place more warriors in your team, right? But at the end, uh, you are sacrificing... You know, you're sacrificing that buffs. So yeah, if I use Sioa, I will be replacing Rafitia. The issue here is I can't use Asmod, I have to use Belfern. And my Belfern is just not strong enough. Right now, my Belfern is currently still at plus 3. I do intend to skill him up. I do intend to actually plus 6 him, alright, next week. Or, sorry, this week basically. And see how much of an improvement I can. I want to like slowly skill him up and look at the data. And hopefully I can give you guys my thoughts and what are the like best optimal skill level for Welfern. Because at the end of the day, I could easily plus 9 him, no problem. I could plus 10 him even. If I want to buy a soul gear and stuff, I could definitely do that. But... You don't want to over invest in units as well because uh, I just want to be safe, you know, right now uh, the, the game is right now If you guys are not aware, if you guys are pretty new We used to be always behind Korea server, alright Usually we'll play the catch up game, we'll, they will be ahead And we will always know what units are coming next But as of now, okay So we are no longer behind, we are now even So in terms of the patch notes there's no way of knowing like firsthand who we are gonna get and you can decide what you want to build later. So it's really important to manage your resources right now. If you have diamonds, right, just because you have 10,000 diamonds, 20,000 diamonds, doesn't mean you want to like spend all of it. There's that, right? You gotta be careful with your spending. All right, a lot of players ask me why I don't build this, why I don't build that, I have 20,000 diamonds, why am I not using them? It's because, you know, if this is a game that I don't care about, right? I would honestly just spend. I would just spend. But Brave Time is a game that I actually care about and I want to be competitive about. So PvP is where that's the difference where most players' uh, decision making comes in. It's not just about uh, resources and who wails more. Now I know there are a lot of players that come into this game having the mindset and an approach of oh that guy is better than me. He's much more of a whale than me. But at the end of the day, I do believe that most players are in Brave 9, they have an equal footing. It's all about who, you know, you decide to invest on. That will be the deciding factor of how you can progress in everything. Alright, not just talking about PvP specifically. Alright, even in campaign, in, you know, Novice Arena, 
in world boss everything right if you invest in the right units you can be a hit like if someone who doesn't know anything they just start playing the game today and someone like me who has vast game knowledge and you give me a new account all right i will know who to pick from jumpstart quest i will be able to build the right units and i will be able to progress faster it's just how it is so it's not just about spending a bunch of money that might be the case in certain games i understand that in some gacha games and i do get that players that play other gacha games they jump into brave 9 they think that brave 9 is the same and i can assure you that it is not uh, if you are not sure what to build right always ask for second opinion all right just look around in the meta there's always going to be that meta unit that you want for sure and you have to chase but i can straight up tell you right now all right in my opinion Ilenia and Bane, these two are the safest units to invest in. Alright, you will not go wrong if you invest on them. Period. Alright, I could say the safe. Uh, I could say the same for Velta as well. Lucius and Seto as well. I doubt these units are going to go away anytime soon. Those are legendaries. Those are going to require much more investment. I understand that. But if you're looking for 5 stars, right, that you are looking to invest into, and you are hoping that they're going to last you for a long time, I do think that. Ilenia and Bane is gonna be the solid one for now. Alright, Seo Ah is gonna really depend because she's really um she's really dependent on your team. Alright, if you don't have I did say this before multiple times on live streams and even on uh, the previous analysis video, if you do not have at least four magicians ready, just just skip on her. Alright, there's no point. For you to build her first plus 15 and then later you are forced to build a free shot or Belfin or whatever. There's no point. You are already too late. You, that, if you do it that way, you are playing the catch up game. And players who are ahead of you, they are just going to remain ahead of you. And you are still trying to catch up when the meta changes, when COR is no longer good. Then BAM. Now you are suddenly behind because you are trying to catch up. So yeah, that's all I guess in terms of the... Uh, meta right now and how overall how the arena is currently based on my experience all right so as you can see around ruby ranks you can easily tell what are the units like mostly all right so Rafi Tia is still safe don't worry if you want to build Rafi go ahead she's not gonna go anytime soon even if a Sioa is like the closest thing that can replace a Rafi Tia right now but even then the requirements are so high uh, to get 4 magicians that's like so restrictive uh, it's not going to be something that everyone can just get easily so flexibility wise Rafita is just still way better alright purification is still way better in the future alright in the future if DOT actually make a comeback with some of the units you're gonna appreciate Rafita again alright so R does gives attack interference immunity now that's something that uh, you cannot argue that it's quite good right because Immunity is going to be better than removal, but in terms of everything else, all right, like DOT or stats weakening, Rapidia can still help you in that regards. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this video. That sums up everything that I have to say in the current arena, meta, state, whatever. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, subscribe, give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.